Hi everyone, I'm Shawn Chaudhuri, a third year PhD student from the Fuller Lab, University of Queensland. Today, I'm going to talk about the global seasonal dynamics of butterfly migration. My question is whether butterflies are the parts of the insect kingdom. Let's see what is waiting for all of us. Whenever you think about insects, some tiniest, creepiest creatures pop up our mind. Do they even migrate? How extent is biomass transfer during their migration? Well, recent studies have proved that every year, trillions and trillions of insects take migratory flight. Who and his colleagues quantified the biomass flux only with the southern United Kingdom for high flying insects, and they found that every year, 3.5 trillions of insects take migratory flight. And during that migration, the biomass transfer is more than 3,000 tons. If you see the table, then we can see that during insect migration, the swarm contains millions and millions of individuals. And the biomass of the flight is huge, which is sometimes very close to the vertebrates. However, vertebrates are thousands and thousands times of heavier than insects. Somebody once wrote that the first approximation of all the insect terrestrial animal life is in the class insecta, which alone contains 90% of the animal kingdom. However, if you include the whole order arthropoda, then it will contain almost all the animals in the world. In this case, starring birds, mammals, and other vertebrates will be trivial. But how many migratory insects are you really aware of? Why should we study butterfly and why their migration behavior? To start with, Butterflies are often considered as a bioindicator group. We observe them moving from one flower to another, collecting nectar and thus helping pollination. Apart from that, how sound is an environment can easily be determined by the redundancy of butterflies. They are an indispensable part of the ecosystem and different animal groups depend on them. If some place has more butterflies, it means that there are more plants which eventually increases the number of other animal groups. And sometimes butterflies act as an important food source of different animal groups, including amphibians, lizards, birds, and spiders. When a species cross multiple regions, they face more threats. And thus, it's really important to have proper idea on the environment or the movement pattern of butterflies. For example, everyone is sensible towards monarch butterflies, but 80% of the migratory monarch population has declined over the last decade which is shocking. If we see the two pictures closely, this is what happened to their habitat, which is sharply declining over the time period with some random fluctuation. And it is happening with the most common migratory butterfly in the world. Just imagine what is happening with the other hundreds of species of which we do not have any idea. Well, how widespread is migration in butterflies? Whenever you think about butterfly migration of butterflies, the first thing that comes to our mind is the iconic monarch butterflies, which is true for most of the people. Nowadays, painting is becoming popular among scientists all over the world, and Australians are well aware of the migration of Kepar White. A recent review has revealed that nearly 600 butterflies migrate around the world. However, we do not have sufficient idea about the seasonal movement of most of the butterfly migrants. Here, based on the spatial occurrence record, we model how the habitat suitability of every known migratory butterfly species changes among seasons globally. We aggregate these models to map the patterns of migratory butterfly suitability at each stage of the annual cycle and estimate the magnitude of seasonal fluctuations at geographic range for each species to determine the extinction risk. We obtained the species list from Chaudhuri et al and downloaded occurrence record for each of the 568 migrant butterfly species from the Global Biodiversity Information Facility, abbreviated as GBIF. During the data cleaning process, we remove duplicate records, imprecise coordinates, and invalid coordinates or specified country that was incompatible with the coordinates given. We grouped occurrence record into four quarters, three months each, and divided the world into 11 biogeographic realms. We then removed species season realm combinations with less than four unique locality coordinates and all cases where only one species season realm combination existed for a species. The final database contained more than 10 million spatial records for 468 butterfly species. We fitted a maximum model in R 
to each season species realm combination using 19 climatic variables that we downloaded from the World Climate Database. In each model, we determine the suitability value that maximized the sum of the sensitivity and specificity statistics and estimated habitat suitability within each pixel for a given species season realm combination as a binary map where one is the suitability value above the threshold and zero is the value equal or below the threshold. We produced four seasonal maps for 405 species, three seasonal maps for 36 species, and two seasonal maps for 27 species. We excluded species for which didn't obtain four seasonal maps. Thus, we had 405 species for the final analysis. We then used the mosaic function from the raster R package to generate combined seasonal maps for each species global distribution. For each pixel, the number of seasons for which conditions are predicted to be suitable for a species could range between 0 and 4. A value of 0 indicates that the conditions are unsuitable in all seasons for a particular species and 4 indicates the conditions are suitable in all seasons. Intermediate values indicate suitable conditions in some seasons and not in others suggesting the suitability is changing in that pixel and that migration might be occurring. We define these areas to undergo seasonal switching in habitat suitability. We used this information to estimate the proportion of species over distribution in which migration likely occurs, as the percentage of species distributions undergoing seasonal switching. We calculated this dividing by the total number of pixels with a value of 1 to 3, by the total number of pixels with a value of 1 to 4, how geographic range size changes seasonally is a fundamental ecological and evolutionary characteristic of a species and a useful predictor of extinction risk. We computed the seasonal area of occupancy for each species by counting the number of pixels with predicted suitable condition and multiplying by the raster resolution. We diagnosed extreme fluctuation in species seasonal distribution when the maximum seasonal range size was more than 10 times bigger than the minimum range size. Here, the first map is showing the spatial records that you obtained from the GB, and the second map is showing 11 geographic realms. We developed habitat suitability maps for 405 migratory butterflies belonging to five major butterfly families. We estimated seasonal change in species distributions by counting how many pixels exhibited seasonal switching. For example, when a species or when a pixel was classified as suitable in one or more seasons and unsuitable in one or more other seasons. Strong seasonal variation in suitability was indicated for most species. More than 75% of pixels showed seasonal switching for 85% species, whereas more than 60% of pixels for 96% of species. This pattern was broadly similar across butterfly families although some species showed only weak evidence of seasonal variation in habitat suitability. The special pattern of predicted suitable habitat for migratory butterflies varied markedly among season and species groups. The percentages of species for which habitat suitability switched seasonally in a pixel varied between 0 and 45, and overall a much higher proportion of species showed seasonal switching in suitability in the tropics compared with higher latitudes. Seasonal switching in habitat suitability was the most pronounced in the tropical regions, for example, neotropical and Panaman realms, and some parts of the Oriental realm, although the Sahara Arabian realm was an exception. Conversely, in the temperate and cooler regions, for example, in the Palearctic, seasonal switching in habitat suitability was minimal, perhaps reflecting a tendency for species to overwinter here rather than migrate. Here, these figures are showing the association of latitude and elevation with the seasonal switching. We found that, atypical to bird migrants, the suitability of migratory butterflies are higher in the lower latitude and lower in the higher latitude. However, we could not find any association between seasonal switching and elevation, although suitability appears slightly weaker at very high altitudes. The distribution of seasonal switching in habitat suitability varied markedly among families. Seasonal switching was generally highest in the neotropical and Panamanian regions, but for some families, the Oriental, Australian, and Palearctic region was the most dominant. For example, seasonal switching peaked in the neotropical and Panamanian realms for Hesperidae, Nymphalidae, Papillonidae, and Viridae, 
and the palliatic and oxygen realms dominated in the lichenity. Sejong switching in lichenis mostly occur in Central Europe, some parts of the Oriental region, and along the east and central coast of Australia in the Sahara Arabian, Afro-Tropical and Oceanian realms. The proportion of species showing sejong switching of habit suitability are rather similar across families. Overall, the range size distributions of migratory butterflies was right skewed, with the mean range size of the 405 migratory butterflies being larger than the median. Some species are very wide ranging, such as Danos chrysippus, with a mean sejong range size of more than 44 million kilometers square, while range size was slightly over 100,000 kilometers square for Unical Chimera. Most of the migratory butterflies showed strong seasonal variation in range size differing by more than 1 million kilometers square for 80% of the species. The magnitude of signal fluctuation in range size decreased as mean range size increased. Silver migratory butterflies showed extreme range fluctuation among seasons, and the difference between the minimum and maximum range size was more than 10 fold for 13% species. Even more extremely, for six species, signal fluctuation in range size exceeded 100 fold. Species with seasonal range size fluctuation greater than tenfold occur in all five major butterfly families, with the highest proportion among the nymphalidae and lowest among the papillary and pyridae. Among the other families, Hispiridae had four species and Lycanidae had five species with greater than tenfold range size fluctuation. The spatial distribution of migratory butterflies with greater than tenfold seasonal range size fluctuation was very similar to the overall distribution being mostly concentrated in the neotropical, Panamanian, and oriental realms. There are almost no occurrence of this greatly fluctuating species from the Sahara Arabian, Palearctic, or Australian realms, and only relatively few from the African and Nearctic realms. Understanding species distribution is fundamental in ecology and conservation, yet there is limited information on the temporarily variable distributions of many migratory species. We estimate strong seasonal variation in habitat suitability for the majority of the migratory butterflies, with more than 75% of pixels showing seasonal change in predicted occupancy for 85% of species, and more than 60% of pixels being variably seasonal occupied for nearly 96% of species. We show that the seasonal variation in habitat suitability is highest in the tropics, especially in the neotropical, Panamanian, and oriental realms but relatively weak in the temperate zone. We suggest that the extreme seasonality of high latitudes hinders the evolution of butterfly migration. Many spe species showed extreme seasonal fluctuations in the extent of suitable areas, with the difference between minimum and maximum area of occupancy being more than 10 fold for 53 species and exceeding 100 fold for nine species. Our results show that butterfly migration is globally pervasive, but appears to be concentrated in the tropics, in contrast to the migration pattern of birds. Extending this work across the full diversity of insects will shed light on the factors associated with the ecology and evolution of migration. An understanding of migratory connectivity is crucial to assessing the impacts of anthropogenic threats to insects and designing conservation responses. I'm thankful to my PhD supervisors, Richard Fuller and Meron Jaluki, for their enormous support throughout my candidature. I'm grateful to all my collaborators, Tatsu Amano, Brad Udorth, and Ruben Venegasli, who helped a lot finalizing this work. Most importantly, I'm thankful to my lovely wife for her in continuous mental support and inspiration. I thank you all for your time. This manuscript is under review in PNAS. If any of you is interested to learn more about this or my PhD work, please do not hesitate to contact me. That's all everyone. I'd love to hear your questions.